My violin is a remarkable partner to me. This was made in 1706, and I'm fortunate enough to have it and get to play it every day. For me, the highest test and the greatest joy is playing chamber music. Um, chamber music is solo playing, as in the demands of a solo artist put together with other artists into one thought. It is an incredibly demanding and equally rewarding experience. Playing with Peter is one of those rare collaborative joys that just happens. It isn't, it isn't something that one creates a relationship like that. It either happens or it doesn't. Peter has a big personality and a very generous spirit. He's a fabulous musician. That, that's for starts. But he has a way of making it human and the connection is so vibrant. It's very, very rare. I think being able to think and anticipate what the other person is doing and thinking, it's hard to teach that. But your job as a teacher is to ratchet up the inspiration and the determination in this person to the point where it's almost unachievable and see if they find it in themselves and if they have it in themselves to rise to that level. So this one goes. My measure of success for my teaching is the degree to which I can help the student I'm working with realize their potential. Do it again. Play. Yes! I have students who are playing professionally. Um, and I have many students who are just glad they've studied. But I don't think I have any students who don't love music at this point. <laughs>